Ma'am of From the Leon Vlogs. Kumusta po ang lahat? So, I hope na you are safe and healthy at nowadays eh, hindi pa rin talaga gumaganda ang mga nangyayari due to pandemic. Kaya kung kaya, magstay muna sa mga bahay. So, sa bahay na lang muna guys at iwas muna tayo sa paglabas-labas kung hindi naman essential. Pero always remember, Lugaw is essential. <laughs> Anyways, last video na pag-usapan natin yung about millennial budgeting, about short to long-term goals, how I manage my salary, and marami pang iba. For those na hindi pa nakakapanood ng video ko na yon, ilalagay ko dito somewhere sa video and sa description box yung link dun sa video. Okay, so for today's video, actually nakuha ko lang yung mga details sa mga nabasa kong articles online sa Facebook. Ilagay ko na lang yung link dito sa description box if mahanap ko yun and a base siya sa personal experience ko. So salamat talaga sa technology, ang dami nating nagagawa using our gadgets like shopping, pag-order ng food, and kahit bank transactions. Yung sobrang dali na lang mag-open ng bank accounts through online and magsasenda lang ng fund transfers anytime is malaking tulong talaga siya, lalo na this pandemic. Most of digital banks dito sa Pinas lets you save money habang nag-earn tayo ng huge interest rates, pambayad ng bills online, pag-load sa phone, pagkuha ng insurance, at marami pang iba. Yung efficiency ng ganitong mga service is nakakapag-make sure na ikaw yung boss, meaning ikaw yung may control ng lahat na accounts mo from account opening hanggang sa blocking or closing the account. Actually, maraming digital banks dito sa Philippines, guys. Pero personally, I am recommending these three digital banks. First is ING. ING stands for International Netherlands Group. Second is CIMB stands for Commerce International Merchant Bankers. And third is COMO stands for... Actually, hindi ko hindi na lang, pero COMO is powered by Interest Bank. So these three digital banks are PDIC insured up to 500,000 pesos for every depositor. So it's a very safe to put your money sa kanila. So if hindi PDIC accredited yung bank or digital bank, medyo risky and sketchy siya. Okay, so let's talk about the first digital bank on the list. It's ING. So ING is one of the most trusted and most recommended digital banks, I should say, in the Philippines. In ING, you can open two accounts, isang ING Save and ING Pay. Sa ING Pay, lets you enjoy a current interest rate of 2.5% per annum, while sa ING Pay's virtual card, pwede mo naman siya gamitin sa mga online transactions mo to get discounts like sa Shopee, Lazada, bill payments, and many more. So, yun na nga. Ano nga ba yung mga pros and cons ng ING? So, unahin natin yung mga pros. So, the app, guys, lets you request and download bank statements and deposit checks real-time, which is very convenient at hindi ka na pupunta sa mismong physical store ng bank. Though, wala naman talagang physical bank si ING dito sa Philippines. Ang cons lang niya is medyo matagal niya lang yung verification or mag-verify yung account. So, I recommend to chat and reach out the customer service to expedite the process. Mentioning the customer service based on my experience, hindi talaga sila mabilis mag-reply and mag-resolve ng mga cases. So, when it comes to interest rates naman, they offer 2.5% per annum and this is subject to change. But meron man sila mga promo na 4% for your first 4 months and for the updates, kindly visit their Facebook and IG accounts. For the physical card, ito yung itsura ng card nila. So, you can request ING card on their app for free and it will be delivered to you. Sa itsura ng app and pag-use guys, I should say it's fresh and minimalist kasi madali lang talaga siyang i-navigate. Sa pag cash in option and liquidity pwede kang mag-transfer ng funds online through any banks pero please be aware of the transaction fee or the transfer fee amount but based on my research ING Instapay and Pesna charges to other banks are waived hanggang end of 2021 so tips lang guys if you transfer ka ng money from ING Save to any other banks i-transfer mo muna yung money from ING Save to ING Pay then sa ING Pay ka mag-transfer for outside kasi walang clearing time and real time mo marireceive yung fund. If sa ING Save kasi ikaw magta-transfer going to another bank, may clearing time na parang mga 3 to 5 working days and this is based on my experience. 
Okay, so next is about CIMB naman. So, CIMB is an all-digital mobile first bank and it takes only around 10 minutes para makapag-open ng account sa kanila and hindi mo na need ng initial deposit or maintaining a balance to do so. Within CIMB, you can open several savings account. One is Fast or Fast Plus accounts. Yung accounts na to is nagbibigay siya ng 0.5 and 0.75% interest rates paid out as the start of every month. Another is Upsave accounts. Magbibigay siya ng 2.5 interest rate starting March 1, 2021. Actually, buwaba na siya kasi dati I believe mga 3% yung interest rate nun. And last, ito yung ginagawa ko and mas convenient yung pag connect your G-Save sa Gcash account to your CIMB account. So, yeah, ano nga ba yung mga pros and cons ng CIMB? For the pros, connected yung CIMB and yung Gcash for easier transaction. Maraming pakulo, guys, itong CIMB like loans, insurances, so better watch out for it. For the cons, unlike ING, guys, hindi siya nag issue ng bank statements. So, sa mga travelers dyan and need ng bank statements, they cannot provide it. When it comes to interest rate naman, even CIMB offered 2.5% interest rate, they can offer 4%. Just make sure lang na 100,000 yung nakasave sa'yo. Still better than other major banks in the Philippines. So, for example, may sobra kang cash na natutulog lang somewhere. Unlike yung nasa payroll and alike, you might want to move it here to earn a little extra. For the card naman, ito yung itsura ng card nila, you can request it to their app directly and it will be delivered immediately. So, it's a very handy for withdrawing cash anytime, anywhere. But if magkakaroon man ng problem, contact their customer service agad. About naman sa mismong app, unang-una, hindi ko alam bakit octopus yung mascot, pero it doesn't affect or walang impact yung paggamit nila and everything. Madali siyang i-navigate and very user-friendly. Sa cash in option and liquidity, you can do over-the-counter cash in sa 7-Eleven and sa mga bayad centers. And same with ING, naka-wave yung personnet charges nila kapag nag-transfer kayo ng money sa ibang banks hanggang end of 2021. And last of three recommended digital banks ko here in the Philippines is Como. Hindi ko talaga alam yung meaning or kung paano naging Como yung name niya, pero Como is a subsidiary of East West Bank. So they are exclusively digital banking services with no physical branch. So isa siya sa mga bagong digital banks here in the Philippines. Lahat ay ginagawa sa mismong app nila like opening an account to card blocking just like the other two banks naman I've mentioned earlier. Actually, sa mga Facebook groups, I'm not sure if legit to, pero ang um, meaning daw ng Como is keep our money online or control mo ang pera mo. Sa so, Como din guys, you can open an account with no minimum deposit and no maintaining balance. Yeah, yeah, question. Ano naman pros and cons ng Como? So, ito na nga. So, for the pros, napakadaling mag-open ng account sa Como and dun sa mismong process ng pag-open guys, may part dun na need nyo sagutan for the delivery of the card. Unlike sa ING and CIMB, depende siya sa inyo guys if gusto nyo magkaroon ng card or hindi. Also, for Como, you can get a bank statement from the application itself directly. Sa cons naman, based on the feedback on Como users sa Facebook, there have some floating transactions and issues sa mga ATMs not dispensing daw ng cash. Naayos naman siya within 3 to 5 days and also you can call their customer service sa East West Bank for further assistance. When it comes to the card, ito yung itsura ng card nila. Mabilis lang madeliver yung color green nilang card and pwede mo yung gamitin to any East West Bank ATM for free and if sa ibang bank naman, free yung transaction niya sa mga ATMs up to 4 times lang. Pagdating sa app, I should say, yung interface ng Como, yung pinakamadali at kahit yung parents natin, for sure, hindi maliligaw sa paggamit nito. Sa cashing options and liquidity, same with ING and CIMB, you can transfer online via Instapay and Pesonet, pero may charges nga lang from different banks or for different banks. Actually, tulad sinabi ko kanina, meron pang ibang digital banks na nag offer ng mga good interest rates sa Philippines like GSA via GCash, Union Bank Online, and may option na doon na automatic deduct sa payroll account. Ikaw na yung bahalang mag-set ng amount and date tuwing kailan siya mag-deduct. And last is yung discard tech powered by RCBC. But hindi na natin sila i-discuss today, so i-part na muna natin sila for the next discussion. Meron din ang pag-ibig MP2 savings and yung pinakalite sa market na Tonic Digital Bank. But that's for another discussion na lang din. So after
after all na pag-usapan natin guys, this is my advice to everyone, lalo na sa mga millennials. First, be smart expending your money, stop impulsive buying, and dapat malaman nyo yung mga needs versus wants nyo in life. Second, invest into something like stocks, insurances, investments, and marami pang iba. Third, always have a good cash flow like dapat hindi ka nawala ng work or dapat may pinagkukunang ka pa rin ng pera or ibang resources for living like business. Fourth, it's not a good practice to spend your money in advance like Uy, saldo na ako next week, bibili na ako ng kung ano-ano at makakabawi naman ako pagdating ng next saldo. Nako guys, hindi magandang mindset yan. Fifth, Your bonuses should not be part of your operating expenses. Ako kasi kapag may nare-receive akong something like bonuses, salary increase, or basta on top pa siya ng basic salary ko talaga, pikit mata ko nilalagay yung mga yon sa savings or investments agad. So yung ginagasas ko is parang nung entry level pa rin ako sa work. But above all this guys, don't forget to reward yourself naman once in a while since pinaghirapan mo rin naman yung i-earn yung money. Always keep in mind lang na you must have to have the delayed gratification mindset because someday it will come back to you. So kaya always remember, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Ibig lang sabihin nun is that don't make everything dependent on only one thing or do not depend on one plan or idea kasi if you should, quote and quote drop your basket or mahulog or masira yung basket of eggs you lose all of it so be smart be a millennial smart okay so i think nasabi ko naman na yung mga tips and tricks ko when it comes to budgeting and saving so i hope guys na inspire ko kayo somehow and may natutunan kayo sa video natin kung may alam pa kayong disparity and ways how to earn and maximize your hard earned money comment down below If nag-enjoy ka sa video natin, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated ka sa mga gagawin at i-upload pa nating videos dito sa channel. Okay, so again, this is Rap of From The Leon Vlogs. Bye-bye!